we are going to put our knowledge of fractions and money together to solve a problem. So let's look at the problem I have right now. Jack has half a dollar. Look at the sets of coins above to find which sets would be half of a dollar. So we have a couple things we need to look at. The first thing we need to realize is that Jack has half of a dollar and we need to determine what that value is and as a fraction. So if we have a dollar right here, a dollar is worth a hundred cents, right? But we only want half of it. Now you would not do this with real money because it would make your money not have any value. But what would a hundred look like into two equal parts? Because that's what a fraction is. Because I only want one of these equal parts because I want one out of two equal pieces. So if I just want this piece here and not this piece here, what would that be? Well, I need to make this a hundred. This would be 50 and 50. 50 plus 50 is 100, so half of a dollar is 50 out of a possible 100. So I have a total of 50 out of a possible 100 cents. That's half of a dollar. Now, we have to see if the pennies, the nickels, the dimes, or the quarters would equal 50 hundreds. So let's do that now. The first thing I want to recognize is that pennies. We know pennies are one cent each, right? So 75 is actually 75 times one, which is 75. So that would be 75 out of a possible 100 or $1. Okay, we just found out that pennies was 75 out of 100. Now let's go to nickels. At first thought, I would say, okay, 10 out of 100. But I have to remember, the 10 is not the value of the nickels. The 10 is actually the number of nickels. So if I have 10 nickels, and each nickel is 5 cents each, I need to multiply 10 times 5 first, which gives me 50. 50 out of a possible 100, which actually matches my half of my dollar that I have here. So nickels would be one of my sets for sure. Now, let's go to dimes. I have three dimes, which is how much, how much in, in, in money? That would be times 10. It would be 30 cents out of a possible a dollar, which would not match my half a dollar. Now I have two quarters. The value of each quarter is 25 cents. Two times 25, and if I don't know how to do that, I could just say 25 plus 25, which equals 50. 50 out of how much? A dollar. So my answer to this question would be Jack could have the quarters, the set of quarters, and the set of nickels because each represents 50 cents. And if, you, if Jack takes both the nickels and the quarters, he doesn't have half a dollar anymore. He would have a whole dollar.